Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go over a few coins. More specifically, I'm going to go over Ethereum, update Ethereum for you guys. I'm also going to go over some other coins and uh, dispute some information uh, that I'm hearing. Okay, let's just look at this in a reasonable fashion. And if you just land here, do me a huge favor. Drop a like, hit the subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. New subscribers, I appreciate you too. So let's just go over the basics. And uh, somebody brought to my attention and they said, Greg, you know, possibly WW3 could be coming up. WW3, you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm trying not to say these phrases because, you know, if I say one word about it, you know, I'd probably just be obliterated from YouTube for life. So that's what I like to do right now. So, yeah, WW3. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back in history, take a look at WW2. Okay. So let's go to Dow Jones Industrial Chart. You see this right here? Oh, yeah. Here we go. So when did WW2 start? What did Mr. H decide to do the invasion? Let's check it out right here. Like 1939, right in that area, June 39, somewhere in that area, right? Okay. So it up a little bit and then it keep going down, right? Down in this area, just like so. Oh, when did uh, Pearl Harbor happen? Let's check out when did Pearl Harbor happen. It happened right, right here, December 1941. That's when, Pearl, that's yeah, Pearl Harbor happened right there. And the United States went in and then right here, June of 42, they were in it, you see? So it went down for part of the uh, WW2 and then blasted up for part of WW2. So which is it? Did a WW2 make it go down or WW2 make it go up? My point being is that you can't just say one event is going to make one thing happen in the markets. It's not reasonable. So. Let me go over here to Algorand, dispute some more information, okay? So let you guys know. You see Algorand here? Algorand's doing pretty darn good, and it went up, let's see, a grand total of uh, 30x. It wasn't a mass mover, but you can see, what did Algorand go up in? One, two, three, four, five. It's probably like some sort of B wave here, A, B, and then a C possibly. Uh, maybe not. It's a little high. But you can see this is clearly bullish move, isn't it? clearly a bullish move and what kind of move a diagonal a diagonal so the other one i'm going to go over is called the uh ethereum grayscale trust and over here september of 2019 and it went up corrected it went up all the way over here from two dollars and thirty cents to basically 48 dollars right and went up into what a nice little diagonal. And that's over here. I'll come back to that in just a second. The reason I'm going over is this stuff. Sometime, sometimes it's better to trust the charts because here's ICP, guys. Okay. Here's ICP. All right. Now, this is the reason why I got ICP, the less than $5, right? So I'm going to trust the charts. Same thing. Algorand is a good example. Ethereum grayscale trust is another one, you know, up in a wave there. And it just did a long drawn out correction over here. Okay. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to trust the charts, not the media, not the media, not for me, not the media. And then this could probably start making its way out of there, possibly. Am I taking a risk? Could it come up and roll over? It could. It could. It just get you guys some FYI, you know, go off the charts. Algorand's actually looking pretty good. Looking like it's setting itself up. I do think it probably more likely did a bottom right there, 26, 27 cents up there. Came back down. That's bullish right here. Came back up on this wave, corrected there. That's a bullish candle, guys. And it probably could be getting out of there for Algorand if you perhaps like this coin. It's a pretty decent coin, in my opinion. So now we're going to go over Ethereum. Oh, that's Ethereum. Let's go over Ethereum now, okay? Here's the thing. I'll let you guys know differing opinions on what's going on with ethereum okay so a lot of people think ethereum has completed a sequence right here end of its cycle and it corrected into a second wave and it, now it's going up into a third wave don't think so guys don't think so does a, is a macro environment sound like it's set up for some sort of blast like that does it look like does this chart look like ethereum's going to be doing another blast like that like take this wave right so i take this wave it doesn't even seem reasonable guys Okay, 
take that wave. You see this whole wave? That's a massive wave. Does it look like something like that's going to be going on? That's way up here. That's way up there. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. This, to me, this is where the confusion's coming in. This, to me, is a third wave extension. This is an extension of this wave, okay? Outside, and it's also outside of that channel. Reason I say that is if you take a look at this right here, boom, and then go to there. Look at that. 42 days. 42 days right in there. This right here is over 250 days. But you got some corrections in here that were about 20, 25 days, 20, 25 days, right in this area, right in here. So in my opinion, this correction probably went with this one, probably this one, something like that, and it extended, pulled off that wave. Now it's in a correction over here. And I think the Ethereum is probably going to wander its way like right up there like that. Okay. It seems reasonable, right? And even considering the circumstances like WW2, right? You see that? It was able to move something off like that. So it'll be unreasonable to think that Ethereum could do something like that. It could. It very well could. So I think it's doing pretty decent right there. So let's take a look at the uh, area that's going into in a smaller, lower time frame, like a 12-hour chart here, guys. And uh, this one, look, I got this here because it was uh, a corrective pattern coming down. I'm just waiting for it. And then you can see... It finally busted up halfway in that line, tagged it, and now it's out. And then now it's getting above back into that trend line for Ethereum. Okay. It's trend line right here. Let me go back out to a weekly and I'll show you. And it's like so. You see that touch down there to there to there, here, here, and it's getting back up in there. Kind of like uh, Binance coin. So Ethereum still has some proving to do, some proving to do. Um, but I'm not too concerned with it until it gets past. It really needs to get past this 1043. It needs you need to see candle bodies below there before it's a concern, a concern for Ethereum, in my opinion. But also, too, you got another cheat sheet for Ethereum. So you can see this right here went up onto a wave, did a correction, and it went up onto a wave. Okay. I've looked at this wave, and to me, it's it's bullish. It's bullish, and it's done a correction here. So Ethereum grayscale, if it's done a correction, let me put it all the way at the top there. You can see, look what it did. Did I do this right here? You see just basically right in that area, what did it correct to? 786. 786. It could be done right there, guys. It could have been a second wave correction up on a wave, nice and deep, and it could be getting out of there. So, you know, remains to be seen. I'm going to uh, keep watching this and this. To get an idea, you know, if it's going to prepare itself to go bullish, but up on a wave, correcting into nice three wave move. Okay. And then it could be getting out of there, setting itself up. The situation is with a coin or an asset like Ethereum right now, guys, is that the macro environment is just very, very sluggish. Okay. It's sluggish. And you have to realize too that this asset, Ethereum, is like ahead. The markets are ahead six months down the road. And the other thing is too, you got to realize is that. The Fed is probably going to pause sometime in the future. When that will be, probably sometime in 2023. The reason why is that if they don't pause, they just keep hammering it like that, they're going to crash the bond market, guys. They're going to crash the bond market. So that's my update on Ethereum, guys. Everything looks pretty good so far. And uh, I'm not too, too concerned with uh, WW3. Not yet. If you made it all the way to the end, drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.